It's time for you to upgrade your notes with a official note taking app that combines the power of mind maps and note taking on an infinite canvas. Scrintle is a official note taking app that works on the web as well as an app for your PC or Mac. The user interface is clean and easy to use, making note taking fun as well as helping you keep organized. Whether you're planning a project, studying or just taking notes, Scrintle has you covered with its linked card system and freeform boards that keep all your notes tidy and linked together. Before we continue, Scrintle has been super kind and given me a discount code to share with you all. You can use the code TylerPots50, you can see it on screen now, when checking out to get a discount code on your yearly plan. Now, personally, I use Scrintle to plan my game development projects by creating easy to follow game dev documents that have separate cards for features, target audience, and more. I also use Scrintle for writing YouTube scripts for videos. In fact, the script I'm currently reading is on a Scrintle card. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick demo of how to use Scrintle and what its capabilities are. Okay guys, so once you log in to your Scrintle app, you will see here you land on the My Desk page, which is essentially your, your desk, your where you keep all your cards and um, basically like a hub where you can keep all your cards and daily documents or whatever you want on the screen. Now to create a new card or a new note, you can double click on the screen and call uh, name your note whatever you want, uh, my first note. Um, and then inside of the note, you can actually write whatever you want. This actually uses markup. So I could do something like hashtag space and it will give me a heading tag straight away. Um, I could do double hashtag and that will get me a heading two. Um, I could also do hyphen space and get some bullet points. Uh, test and something else, test. And there you go. You can see you can get in some different sort of uh, notes there. Oh, sorry, different way of writing your notes by using that. If you actually click on stuff as well, double click. So you'll see if you double click this, you can also get these different uh, selections here. Instead of writing markup, you can actually uh, come in here and actually use the uh, action bar here to uh, even change things to bullet points, add in new, create a new card as you just see there, which is now linked um, and so forth. You can do a bunch of different things with this. So you now see I've just linked that card. So we actually have a separate card for that heading, um, which is now linked here as well, which is pretty cool. Um, as well as just double clicking on the screen, you can actually use this side uh, toolbar here with different things. You've got a daily card that gives you a card with the current date on it. Um, and you can see my card for today. Um, and you can add a bunch of different things in this day card. It'll be great if you're creating a journal or you're writing something or keeping notes. Um, it's good to keep track of the date you're actually using it. So that's useful day after you can create a normal card. Um, card from toolbar. There you go, so you hit the card from the toolbar. And then you can also add text here. So let's say you try to keep organized in your desk or your board, you can say my notes here, and you can have a little section for your notes. You can actually go in here and add another text saying um, less important notes. And you can just see it is just a nice little fish wall um, way of seeing your uh, cards or organizing your cards there. You can also right click, click organize cards, which won't really help with the text, but you can see here, organize your cards, makes them easier to read. Um, you can also click fit all to screen, which will basically fit them all in. So if we like zoom in too far and we want to see all our notes, we can right click fit to screen and that will bring it back as well. We can also pan by clicking this or just holding down space bar and click and dragging to actually move around as well. Um, and then finally, there's these other card called columns. Now, columns are kind of cool. They're, they're basically normal cards, but you lay them out differently. So let's just name this my, let's say, tasks. And then in here, we can create a new card per task or per column. And we can say first task, uh, just like that. And there you go. You got your first task in here. You can say second task, and you can add some notes to this one. Um, and, uh, and so on and so forth. So you can see here how you can use um, a 
columns card to actually create really useful um, group together notes. I'm just going to delete those there. Now, another thing you can do with this, which I've shown here, is link other cards to each other. Now, a good way to link things is inside of your note, you can press plus here and search for a card. So let's just say game. Uh, and you can see we've got some different things. So I'm going to select game documents here. Now, if I click this, it's going to open up this game documents. Another thing we can actually do is find this card on this board by selecting this little icon here. And you can see it's brought us to that card there. Like if we move away and we click it, you'll see it brings this card into view. This is the card we're currently using, um, which is super nice and easy to find. And you can see there now there's this line pointing to it because this one references this card here. So it's showing us a link between them, which is a nice little feature. Another thing you could do is actually tag your cards. Now in here we could say overview or just test, for example. And now this has created a new card with test. Now if you go here, you can see this shows you everything referencing test in it um, with the hashtags. If we add this hashtag to, let's say, another card, let's say the card from toolbar we'll just say hashtag and you can see we got this test here this tags that card now if we look for um, a tag and we can select our test tag you can see that brings them all in here and that's pretty cool so you can see all the ones which have the hashtag of tag we could search for other hashtags as well in here uh, let's say scripts or even features and you'll show you'll see it shows you the cards that you're currently searching for which is super useful for finding and organizing cards now, another feature is actually to archive your cards. Um, so let's say we just want to remove these cards from this page. We just press delete on our keyboard or we can right click and click um, archive. Same with this one, click archive. You can see they're now gone, but they're not actually deleted. What we've done here is we've just archived the cards. Now we can go to my cards to see all our cards here, or we can actually search from in the search bar. So let's just search for test, for example, um, or yeah, my first note, we'll search for first note. And you can see we've got these two cards here. Now we can actually select these cards by clicking up there um selecting these cards and we can either click add to add them to the board or we can just drag them in here and you can see they've been re-added back and it also remembers what cards are being referenced so you can see that's targeting this right here and that's just one way to add back in your cards now if you actually want to permanently delete your cards you can go to the card find it right click and click delete this will actually permanently delete your card or you can go to my cards find the card and right click and click delete card as well and this will also permanently delete the card for you now another cool feature that has been added to this is the spotlight now you can press ctrl k uh, control shift k sorry or you could just select this spotlight here and you can actually search for cards or boards so let's just search for a card let's say game documents or game because this will be where most of my stuff is you can see you can see a board i've created and i'll go over boards in a second but boards are a way to uh basically collate or organize a set of cards uh we have our game documents and different cards here with the uh with something relating to game as the keyword here and you can see these all titles all have game in them now let's actually click on the board here now you can see this is a board i've created before um, that shows off a game i'm working on or a game i want to build um, and it's a project I've been planning. So there's actually a real world example. There's a game I'm currently working on. This is how I've organized the cards for this board so far. Um, you can see here we have a... Um uh, the overview here and i've actually linked the two other cards here as well so game features are here with its tag of features so we could search for that if we want to appear with uh tags and features and you'll see that's here um where we can find it right here and there you go that opens it up as well um we've also got target audience here which is in here which is nice um and there you go you can see these cards are really nice and um Organize and it's a board. So this board is its own separate board. We can create a board by going up to my board and clicking add a new board and then you can name this whatever you want let's say test board um, and in here we can create new cards relating to this test uh, card with uh, my test card on the test board 
and there you go you can see these are all in here now so we've got our cards for here a new card there um, and you can just see this is a really good way to organize and keep your cards together if you've got specific cards you need to be together i use my desk for things i need to access quickly or things that i think i need to do within the day i'm currently working on it or like for like my to-do list that's where i will create all my my tasks for like my daily tasks and then when i want to keep things collated let's say for my games or my boards like here for my scrap of vr game i've actually created a board to collect Play all this information here for this project now another awesome feature of um, screen tool is being able to collaborate and share your boards now up here you can see i click share on the board and i can actually share this board with another screen tool user so they can actually collaborate with me and actually work on this board as well um, so we can add them in here obviously they would need a screen tool account to be able to uh, share but if they don't have a screen account you can actually publish this as a read only mode so they can only read and not edit um, and publish this and share a link with anyone you want to be able to see this board this is great for roadmaps if you're building a project and you want to share a roadmap with your friends or family or your followers on social media uh, you can do that pretty easily here um, and obviously you've also got sharing and collaborating here you can also share individual cards with users as well if you want them to be able to collaborate on a card with you as well that's going to be it for this video don't forget you can get a discount on a yearly plan on Scrintle using the code tylerpots50 i'll leave it in the description as well and a link to Scrintle if you want to go try it out for yourself it's a really awesome tool and i'm going to be using this daily from now on for all my note taking purposes all my project planning and that because it is so useful and there there is so many cool features that it offers that just beat most note-taking apps today. So I hope you enjoyed this little overview of Screen Tool. If you wanted to see more about Screen Tool, let me know down below and we'll see what we can do. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.